We're, we're in Gilville. Where else? We're on the corner of 4th and Main, baby. <laughs> Gilville. You call it Gilville. I, I call it. We all call it. I call it, it home. <laughs> whole sense of how this grows is to create loops mm -hmm. so that so that you're never sort of walking one place and then turning around and walking back in the same direction so with Rowan open now or at least the gallery in the bottom of Rowan open now now I really sense there's a loop but I still I mean there's still pieces in between dark spots in between but I think that's really only a matter of time now and you know you can feel it the momentum is unbelievable now now it's really more about making sure it doesn't get too popular you know? well, what would happen if it became too popular I think it would change its focus. I think its focus right now, no matter how many people are here, is still very much about art and not so much about drinking and food and, and you know hitting on women or men. And I think when something gets too out front of itself, that it can very much devolve into that. And so it's my in my interest and everybody else's interest, I think, to keep the focus on art, make sure that there are plenty of galleries open all the time, and 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 sort of limit the the like woohoo party part of this and more of the, wow, isn't this fascinating part. That's why, you know, when we were working on that corner on uh, uh, Fifth and Main, we were really concerned that people use that corner to, to access the population, you know, right. that we were really, you know, doing something for everybody in the neighborhood. Between 4th and 5th, Spring and Main, that in fact is the epicenter. And whether you're on 5th or whether you're on 4th, whether you're on Spring or whether you're on Main, I don't think that's the essential thing. I think it's that neighborhood now. You know? uh, can you say anything about King Market Corner at 5th and Main? Uh, just that I think it's going to be good. Uh, it, I was very, very concerned about it, as you know, um, because it was going to be a, a, a Project 50 Outreach Center, which there's no problem with an outreach center, but there is a problem using really valuable retail space for services. And so I think we have a tentative agreement to move those services down into the basement and also tentatively an arrangement with Chrysalis to do some kind of cool, you know, bakery, prepared foods, cafe, outdoor seating place. I think, I, I think something I never realized when we started doing this was how important Gallery Row was going to be. And so now one of our focuses is to fill in all these little pieces, because I really don't think we can take the next big leap until we fill in all the gaps of the little parts. Uh, and I'm absolutely convinced now that preserving Gallery Row as an arts-based district, you know, for you know, infinity is is essential to the long-term health of the neighborhood. That the minute this turns over and there's, you know, Banana Republic and Baby Gap and all that crap, I think I'm gonna have to just shoot myself. <laughs> but I think we can prevent that by focusing very, very heavily on the fact that this is an arts-based neighborhood and, and that's how we define ourselves. So, thanks, little luck. Thanks, baby. Sure. Including your art, man. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks. thanks for the plug. Yeah, thanks for the great mural. <laughs>